Good morning all, I hope you are well. Well this morning I'm going to be bringing you a cigar video, I haven't done that for a while. And this morning's cigar is the San Cristobal from La Habana. And it is known as the El Prado cigar. El Prado, or Prado. Um, this is a, a short Pyramides, or Petit Pyramides. Um, classic robusta size, 5 by 50, 5 inches by 50 ring gauge, um, with a torpedo top or tapered cap. Um, it's uh, quite a Claro looking wrapper. Um, you'd have to excuse my hands that I've got a stain on it from uh, staining pipes. Um, but um, I think I'm just going to get it cut and get it lit. Using my paleo cutter. Now, um, torpedo or tapered uh, caps, generally speaking, it's better to cut it at an angle. If you cut it at an angle, there's more surface area for the smoke to come through, um, so less going to be bunching up, less carbon going to be bunching up in the cap, which could lead to uh, bitterness. Um, it's got an exceptional dry draw, beautiful flavours. Lovely cedar coming through straight away, sweetness, there's a sweetness on the lips, almost like it, it, it might be slightly dipped in sugar or something, but obviously it's not being a, a Habanos SA uh, Cuban cigar. Very, very nice, very, very nice cedar flavor on the dry draw. I light it with a soft flame. I was a little bit concerned about the draw of the cigar because it felt a little bit a little bit tight right there by the band. I don't know why they commonly seem to get hard under the band. I presume it's some kind of uh, reaction from the band or the fact that air doesn't get to the band, perhaps to the area beneath the band. But it always seems to get hard underneath the band. And maybe that's an area where cigars can sometimes get a little bit tight and uh, restrict the airflow. But um, the draw is actually really good. So I'm going to let that settle down. The first initial couple of draws, I, mean, I, I usually let it settle in for a minute, but um, the first couple of draws is a little bit herby and a little bit uh, creamy, but uh, almost more of a green herb kind of flavour to start with. But um, I shall be back in shortly. Uh, so a few minutes in, um, about half an inch, and um, there's a very sort of creamy, light flavour to it. Um, it's very mild. Um, it's quite a, a bright flavour flavor profile at the moment. Um, <clears throat> and it seems to be that there's like almost a gap in the flavour wheel, if you like. Um, you know, this, the, the bottom half of the flavour profile is missing. Um, that's what it feels like at the moment. It needs to fill out. It needs to bring in some deeper, more rounder flavours. At the moment, it's really herby, green herby kind of flavour with a bit of creaminess to go along with that. We'll see how it develops. Well, about first third in, beautiful burn line, nicely stacked ash, white ash. Um, it looks like it might uh, ash sort of the ash might drop any time. Looks like it might be flaky, but I'm not sure. I'm not going to attempt it at the moment. It's okay. 
um, flavors. It's interesting. I said before that it was very light flavored and really top end, but every so often a little bit of a lower end sort of creaminess does come in, um, but it doesn't last. Um, so it's almost like a buttery, maybe a light chocolate kind of flavor coming in, but it's all still very bright. Um, it's very at the top end. It's not citrusy or anything like that. It's just at the bright end of things. It's like a, um, you know, on the color scale, for instance, it's white as opposed to black. It's it's really at the top end of of the of the flavor profile, um, and it really does still feel that it needs some central ground, some rounded, deeper, um, sort of like multi kind of flavor to, to really bring it through. So maybe a cinnamon or coffee, chocolate, something, just to bring in that lower end to to just round out that flavor profile. At the moment, it's as I say, it does feel like it's missing that. But it's a pleasant cigar. It's creamy. It's still got a, a, that green herby flavour to it. Um, the only thing that worries me is that if it doesn't develop and get a more of a, a rounder flavour, that it might sort of feel like it's turning bitter a little bit earlier on. Because I do find that um, flavour profiles which are very much on that brighter end of things and the higher end without any lower ground, they they kind of they're more prone to turning because um, there's not that much flavor going on. It's a much lighter, milder kind of flavor. So um, I'm hoping that this will develop as you get through um, the thirds. We'll see how it goes. Progressing well through the second uh, third, not much change. But I'm going to ash it because otherwise it's going to drop all over me. There we go. Once you ash it, it really makes the cigar look a lot smaller, doesn't it? Well, we're through the second third pretty much. Well, how about just over halfway through? Um, flavors really pretty much stay the same. That's the LCDH band, La Casa de la Bano. These are the extra two um, icons that you get for the La Casa. Cigars. Really not seeing much of a change, to be honest. It's still very pleasant and very easy going. It's a really great um, <clears throat> cigar to partner with a coffee. Um, great morning cigar, I think. Um, you, you don't want too much in the morning. Um, you don't. Want, you don't want it to be too rich, too heavy. Um, if you partner it with a with a with a white coffee um, and that kind of fills that middle ground that lower end of things that you really want with this cigar so actually partnering it with a coffee is a great um, pairing and uh, I would recommend this cigar certainly for that it's got a fantastic amount of smoke output very creamy unctuous smoke um, and it kind of is a good cigar to set you off in the morning. Um, you, you don't want something too heavy in the morning, and it's not a cigar that once you've had it, you just feel completely satisfied that um, you don't want to have another cigar afterwards, or you don't want to have a pipe afterwards because you kind of had a, a rich experience already. So I think this is actually really a perfect cigar for the morning. I'm kind of getting into the summary here, but I'm not quite up to the summary. I'll catch you soon. All right, time to remove the main band. I've not had to relight the cigar, despite me taking a couple of breaks. My granddaughter came a few minutes ago, so I spent a few minutes with her. Came back in here, it was still alight, no problem. Took a draw, full mouth of smoke. Um, construction on this is really very good. Um, it's definitely fuller now, um, but it's because it's the end of the cigar, so it's just a... Not necessarily strength in nicotine, but it it's just feels more full and stronger in the mouth. Um, just more intense is the word I think I'm looking for. Uh, the flavors have intensified, but there hasn't really been a change in flavor profile for me throughout the cigar. 
Um, so I'll smoke it a little bit more. It looks like it'll continue to smoke okay. And uh, we'll summarize shortly. Okay, so cigar is starting to just start to turn, start to get that almond kind of flavor as it progresses through to being a bit bitter. Um, but still smoking well. So time, <coughs> excuse me, time to summarize. So, um, We start off with construction, visual construction. Um, any tapered cigar for me uh, is, is, is a bonus. Um, I just like the whole, bit, the, the, the style of um, the shaping of it. Um, it's harder to roll, so there's more effort going into that. But that, but just generally in terms of the visual construction, it's a nice, attractive looking um, shape of a cigar. Um, the size, being a robusta size, for me, it's spot on. That's my uh, a sweet spot for cigar size, 5 by 50 anything around that kind of size works for me. Um, a Claro coloured wrapper, really quite bright, uh, well rolled, evenly rolled, no bumps, no, um, the seams were fine, um, just very, very good looking cigar. Um, so for me, um, gets an 8 out of 10 for visual construction and mechanical construction. Um, this cigar has been superb, really has been absolutely top notch. Um, the burn line's been great throughout. I haven't touched it up. I haven't had to relight it. As I said before, a couple of breaks I had in middle and came back after a few minutes and it was still stoking away just very nicely. Um, took a draw and full mouth of smoke. I didn't have to pull on it three times to get smoke through. Um, we're talking about, you know, a break as long as five minutes. A huge amounts of smoke output from the first puff. Good, thick, creamy, unctuous smoke. Um, very, very good. Um, the draw has been absolutely spot on. Uh, perfect amount of resistance. Um, really can't say, I can't fault it in any way, shape or form on the construction. Stacked nicely the ash. The ash held on nicely. Nice uh, white sort of ash. A little bit mottled, but basically white. Um, a top notch construction on this cigar. I'm giving it a 10 for the construction, for the mechanical construction can't speak highly enough about the mechanical construction of the cigar. Flavours. Well, you've pretty much heard me talk about the flavours throughout this video. A very bright cigar. Um, really, it was missing quite a lot of the deeper end of the, the lower end of the flavour profile, and it stayed that way for me throughout the cigar. Um, definitely got richer towards the end um, and more intense, but just more of the same. Um, profile. It really could have done with a little bit more at the lower end. Um, supplement it with a coffee or another drink that you, you enjoy that will give it that kind of uh, depth of flavor and you've got a great partnering um, uh, and it will work. Um, like I said during the video, perfect for the morning. It's light, it's easy. Um, the flavors are not going to really sort of uh, smack you around the face. Um, but um, for me it does miss it needs something else. Um, it needs a little bit to fill those gaps. So for me, flavor-wise, um, I'm gonna give it um, a six. Um, it, I, I don't want that to sound negative. If you enjoy that profile, that flavor profile, then it's a great cigar. This is not a negative, this is just my personal preference. Um, I'm assuming that this is the profile of this cigar and that's what it's supposed to be. Um, so it does it well, and it stays that way, it stays true to it throughout the cigar. But for my personal preference, I prefer a more uh, harmonious, balanced flavor. It's a very herby kind of flavor, a green herby kind of flavor, which goes throughout. There was fantastic um, cedar right at the beginning. And as I told you, on the dry draw, the cedar flavor was superb. Um, so you do get that cedary, herby kind of flavor throughout, but it misses... Um, a sweetness, a sort of a, a deeper, darker sweetness to complement that brightness. So like I say, from my personal preference, I'm giving it a six on the flavor. Um, in terms of strength, um, until now, literally until right at the end, it's been mild throughout. And now it's, it's sort of medium, medium plus, um, not really approaching full. Uh, and it's, as I say, it's, it's mild. It's a mild cigar, easy, easy to smoke cigar. Um, in terms of strength, um, again, it actually goes in tandem with the fullness. 
uh, strength-wise, no strength at all, no nicotine at all until now. I'm now starting to get a little bit of a nicotine hit, um, and that's, you know, what you would expect right at the end of a cigar. So overall, I would say mild to medium, both on fullness and on strength. Um, so overall, Mark. It's a tough one because in reality, it's a fantastic cigar. It's very well made. And if you enjoy a brighter end of cigars, then really you could give this full marks. You could give it a 10. But for my, I mark it based on my personal preference. Um, so I'm gonna say eight and a half because um, flavor obviously is, is a very, very important part of enjoying a cigar. Um, but every other aspect of this cigar is top notch. Um, so I'm gonna say eight and a half. Um, eight and a half approaching nine and it's really going up to nine because of everything else being perfect um it's just the flavor which lets it down if the flavor was a bit more full um a bit more balanced i would give this a, a 10 um which i don't do very often at all um so really um a very very well-made cigar um top-notch cigar but it's a bright flavored cigar um, as I said earlier on, this is a great cigar to start your day with a cup of coffee or whatever your preferred drink is. Um, but I think if you have a, a drink which is going to give you some fullness, a little bit more of that lower end flavor, then you're kind of rounding out the flavor profile by adding that drink. So there you go. That's my um, experience of this San Cristobal. And um, I do recommend it. I do highly recommend it, especially if you enjoy brighter flavored cigars. Thanks very much for watching. I'll catch you on the next one.